everybody, John Parnock with the Mojave Valley Daily News, uh, and we are here for our Athlete of the Week presentation. We're going to get to that in a couple minutes with Shane Pollock from Findlay. But first, I have a one of my mentors on the coaching side, anyway. Uh, she now she's the athletic director at Mojave High School, Amanda Amen. Hi, Amanda. Hi, John. It's good to see you. Good seeing you, Coach Amen, to me because I <laughs> I worked under her down at River Valley softball for a while, but. Before we get to the Athlete of the Week presentation, I wanted to talk to Amanda about the tax credit. So, a tax credit is the amount of money that taxpayers can subtract from taxes owed to their government. Unlike deductions and exemptions, which re reduce the amount of taxable income, tax credits reduce the actual amount of tax owed. So it's a one for one, it's not a percentage or anything like that. And you designate it to your school. Correct, you can actually designate it to any program that we offer here at Mojave High School or within the district, even including River Valley, you, if you're out that direction, you can definitely send it their way as well. Um, the way the tax credit works, uh, we do have pay to play here, so it is $100 per sport to participate in. So the tax credit is a great way to take advantage of your pay to play fee as well as getting that tax credit in. The tax credit money goes directly to whichever program you select and you can do it in the amount of the $100 the $200 for the for two different seasons, three or $400, up to $400, I should say, with married and um, filing jointly. So every individual can do a $200 tax credit. And remember, this is a this is a, a, a one for one thing. So if you donated, let's say you and your family donated $400, even if you were already getting a refund back, it increases the refund amount. So that's something that uh, we've talked about with the accountants in town. Uh, go and talk to your accountant. But we know for sure there are programs here at Mojave and like Coach Amon said, or a Amanda, Athletic Director Amanda Amon <laughs> said, uh, we know that there are programs, uh, sports programs here that really uh, need your uh, uh, donations. So uniforms and, and there's a hundred things. They pay for transportation um, to tournaments with it, not normal everyday transportation for AIA, but for tournaments, uniforms, food. Sometimes the coaches will elect to feed some of the teams on these trips, equipment, certain things. Um, we try our best to do what we can in the athletic department, but it's not always enough for every sport and, and, and group on campus. So this gives them the opportunity. Um, I do my tax credit. My son's playing two sports right now in the fall. He's playing golf and swim. I split my tax credit there. He's also in the place, so he, I kick some to drama and track in the spring. So you can divide it up however you want. You can do it to the art club. You can do it to GSA. You can do it to different things on campus, but every bit of that dollar goes straight to those clubs and organizations that you choose. If you don't choose, I would be happy to take <laughs> it in the athletic department so I can help those other students and clubs and organizations on campus. Just, uh, it's a great, it's a great program. It's a great uh, option. And remember, th these clubs would use Corn Fest and a lot of different events to raise money to to be able to buy these things. All those things with COVID are gone. They were wiped out, so they really need your money right now. So that is it. I know you guys wanted to see who the athlete of the week is. So we are going to pass it over to Shane. Thanks, John. I'm here with our Student Athlete of the Week, Maya Radich, and uh, I'm actually here with Coach Radich. So I'm actually going to have something a little bit different this time. Uh, every time a coach has a player, it's like having another family member, but this time, we actually do. Uh, Maya is a 4.0 student, National Honor Society, and a student body vice president. Is that correct? Yes. So with all those compliments, I'm going to hand it over to Coach to brag up on his player a little bit. Well, I have known Maya since like a day one, <laughs> last 18 years. Uh, she's an awesome young lady, she's a great kid and a great student, and uh, the, uh, as a, for the team, uh, she's one of the key players and uh, working really hard day in, day out. Um, she's the type of the player that kind of never gives up. It, it's very competitive, and it's, it doesn't matter is it practice or game, she's gonna give it 100%, it's very competitive and goes 
So, oh, Coach, yeah. I saw that she had a very good week this week uh, in the last couple of games and actually was uh, recognized as a top 10 player. Is that correct? That's correct. In, in Division 4, right now, she's uh, in top 10 in kills. And she's actually number one in Division 4 in aces. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Very much so. So, Maya, what do you like best about playing volleyball here? I, Other than the coach. I love volleyball. I think it's one of the greatest sports. It's so much fun, super high energy. Um, I love it because I can be competitive. Um, and here, I think we've, in the past four years, we've really established a great program that can compete with all the other teams in our region. So I really love it. So obviously, what you, you have a pretty good uh, track record here at Mojave. What are your plans after high school? After high school, um, hopefully I'll get committed to play volleyball. I'm not super picky. Um, any college, you know, will work for me as long as I find the right program. Um, and then I hope to major in kinesiology and become a physical therapist. That sounds like a great, great path for an athlete. I know we always want to stay around the game and around athletes. Oh, yeah. So, guys, I want to congratulate Maya. She is our athlete of the week. Here's your certificate. Go ahead and step up. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you.